Today I am making my keto egg tart recipe. Say that again. Keto delicious egg tarts. Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. Okay, I have a confession to make. This episode is really hard for me because I have to set everything up before I shoot it. And once I start shooting, I know I'm gonna mess up. And when I messed up, I probably have to start all over again. But you know what? I might just well just go with the flow and see how it is. I have my cheat sheet as well, so I'm not to worry, I think. Anyway, today I am making my keto egg tart recipe. Say that again. Keto delicious egg tarts. Making cooking recipe mukbang, it's really, really hard. So kudos for those cooking shows hosts, and also YouTubers. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates. My channel is all about mukbang and eating with my sister or cooking or reaction video, anything I feel like it. <laughs> On with the story. Choo choo! So, keto egg tart has two parts. There's one part where you're going to make the crust, and there's another part that where you're going to make the fillings. I am going to link all the descriptions in the sections below, so you can see how much amount if I mess it up during this video, which most likely will happen. So when we're doing our crust for this keto egg tart, we're using one egg and 20 grams of butter and 50 grams of almond flour and 10 grams of coconut flour. Which one goes first? I don't care. You can just mix them all together and you create that crust. But before we do the crust, here is my muffin pan. And I today I'm just making five to six, depends on how much I make. Uh, I don't know. The recipe is called for five, but I have decided to use this little cup thing. I think we will be able to make six of them. Before we start making the crust, make sure you melted your butter. You buttered the cup up first. I'm sure this part we're going to edit to the end where everyone's gonna see the aftermath. If you have seen the video before this one that I messed it up, I didn't use the cup. So you can see there's still crust on there that's really hard to take it off. So today I decided to use this muffin cup. Ooh, the butter smells so good. Okay, I buttered it up. So let's make our crust. For crust, we just put all the ingredients in there all together. So we just put the coconut flour and almond flour and then now we're putting the egg and now we're putting the butter and then now you just mix them all together into a dough i think the most hardest part about this recipe is making it into a crust but i got some tricks for you so stay tuned make sure you mix it well it's really hard for me to see it from this angle. If you do mukbang so much, the angle is different and you kind of have to adjust. Voila! Done. Now, let's put it. What you need to do, you, you just make, divide it into six of them. And you just put it in there first before we adjust. Oh, I think we're good. Okay, now use your spatula. Actually, don't use your spatula. What you need to use is use your hand. So I have a trick for you guys to make this crust way easier to form around the cup. Is to just take the little mold out and then goes around it like this. You can easily form it into a nice crust around this. See? very quick and then you can just put on there we got one more to go trust me this is the longest part after that everything is easy peasy now that we're done it we had to preheat our oven at 350 
if I didn't say it. Please preheat your oven at 350 before you start making the crust. And we're going to put in there for 10 minutes to cook this crust. But before we do that, you are going to use a fork just to poke holes on the bottom like this. Okay, now that we just put the crust into the oven, we're going to make our filling. There are two egg yolks, no egg whites. Some people just do the little balancing thing, but you know what? Baking is fun when you use your hands. So that's why I did. I just scoop the egg yolk up and we are going to use 100 grams of heavy whipped cream, 20 grams of erythritol, monk fruit or swarf, depends on how you're liking, and also a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. You just need to put them all together and then start stirring and that's it. I like to put my vanilla extract first because it smells so good. Mmm, amazing. And then we're going to put two egg yolk. Uh oh, it broke. I use monk fruit just because it's cheaper at Costco. And start mixing. Okay. Okay, done. Okay, we're back and it's hot. Now we're just putting on the filling. Some people like their crust to be uh, extra crispy so you know you can put it into the oven for like about 12 minutes to 15 minutes really depends on your oven too when you fill it up make sure you only fill it up about 80 percent so you give some room to grow Ooh. if you have seen my instagram You'll see this part. Okay. Now, let's put it back to the oven for about 10 minutes again. If you think it's good, then take it out. I mean, it's all edible anyway. Okay, now that we're back, check this out. So make sure the pan is not too hot before you transfer onto the plate. One good thing about having the silicone thingy is you can easily transfer it and you can easily peel it off and you can ooh, easily put it on the plate. This looks so good. Ooh, ooh, hot. Ooh, check this out. So cute. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Now let's do a taste test. Look at this, it's so cute. Mm. It's so creamy inside too. I know my sister is not here, so you all might be wondering how, what's the macro for this since if you're doing keto, you are very strict on your macro. I got it on my sheet, 200 calories, Per cup protein is 5.7 gram, fat is 19 gram, and the net carb is 2.4 gram. That's for five servings. So I would guess this is only two net carb since I made it to six. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my update. What do you guys think about my keto recipe? Should I do it more? Leave comment down below. I will see you next time. Bye.